All right, everyone. Today's video did so much better than I expected when I was making it. So if you're new around here, stick around to the end and I guarantee at least one YouTuber that you are subscribed to will at some point feature in this video. It was mad how, how well this did. I wasn't expecting that. And if you are watching this, it obviously means that 24 hours has come to an end. And so we are going to be taking a look at uh, well, the aftermath of what I have started. And Harry, what even are you talking about when I say what I have started? Well, here's a story. So a couple years ago an Irish YouTuber called Corporate King, link in the description, more on him later, made a video to a similar degree of this and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I set up an account on Twitter and the mission was to see how many of my terrible, terrible drawings or paintings, because obviously I didn't paint, uh, would get noticed, recognized, liked, retweeted, commented on by the people who I drew. And weirdly, more often than not, they replied. So, first of all, I had to make a completely convincing account, so I called him Fan Art Master, the master of fan art. And I had to find just some guy, I don't know who he is or what he does, to make the profile picture, so you know, they wouldn't suspect that it's me. I made an incredibly convincing page, you know, it's absolutely foolproof. Ain't no way anyone is realizing that this is an absolute piss take. <laughs> and we were off to the races. So, first of all, Things weren't looking too good. My Jackmate, my Kieran Carlin, I am Alex, basically the E Boys, Logan Paul, True Geordie, Ben Morris, none of them were replying. And I I was like, oh shit, what have I done wrong here? So I reached out to Cobra Keen, the originator of the video, and as soon as he followed me, we got to talking about how I could make this more successful. And his idea was to target YouTubers who would have similar fan bases, so if they saw one of them liked it, the rest of them would like, and then the fan bases would all like, and you know, we get a little community going for fan art master. Oh, also someone just said that the true Jordy one was realistic, to be fair, and you're not wrong. It's like a photo. So the Cody Co one did weirdly well, I'll just check how well it's doing. And I say weirdly well because it did weirdly well considering he didn't actually see it or reply to it or anything. It got over a hundred likes and that's weird considering the guy didn't even see it. So you know, it did quite well. But the replies to it, they were interesting. Uh, someone said don't tweet him, fan art, he'll steal it. And I was like, oh god, if he steals my masterpiece without my consent, I just don't know what I'll do. So someone replies to that with, same. He can use me without consent. I don't care. And then it started to take off. First of all, David Vujanic retweeted and commented incredible artwork, thank you sir. No problem. Uh, people were then saying, put this on a shirt and if you... So I'll tell you what, if, uh, if this video gets... I'm just gonna say something stupid like... 500 likes. I know, a bit a bit much. If it's 500 likes, I'll let Fan Art Master uh, design a t-shirt. And if any of you guys want it, let's, let's go for it, I guess. <laughs> Someone says, uh, it kind of looks like Serge Gnabry. Obviously when I drew Vood, I had to draw Poet as well. And the Poet one... Well, it did a little bit better than I expected. So, first of all, Scribs, someone who I was actually intending on uh, drawing, retweets it saying, this actually looks like Poet, there's a genuine resemblance, and he's not wrong. I mean, this is this is my favorite one I drew. I actually am quite proud of this one. Uh, someone says, it's the nose in it, you got Dan, the facial expression, it's the move and the nose that's cracking me up. I mean, Bodie Pippen, if that is your real name. Um, 
Well, it's a stick, man. But I'm glad the way it's moving uh, cracks you up. Cheers, mate. We got a bunch of laughing emojis. Someone said it looks like a mirror. Someone said, for fuck's sake, lol. And it was doing really well, except Poet. The Poet hadn't liked it. And I was starting to get really worried that Poet wasn't going to see it. And then, I went on my Instagram, and I shit you not, but I go on to Poet's Instagram story, and what has he done? He has, uh, well, he's shared Fan Art Master on his Instagram story. This did so much better than I expected, and we ain't even halfway through. It gets even crazier. So obviously, Scribs, who retweeted it, who I said I was already planning on drawing, I then put out the drawing of him. He says, my guy, and Pele, yes, Pele, said that out of respect, he has to make this his new Twitter avatar for a month straight. And he did. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, then we just got, you know, a couple, uh, individual interactions so we're gonna fly through those cam kirkham says majestic cheers i mean that is a that is a majestic piece of art if i do say so myself uh, specs liked and retweeted his one and stuck it up on his instagram story yes somehow fan art master has now crossed platforms i'm shocked then we had a bunch of consecutive duds uh, James Alcott, Lawrence McKenna, Stephen Trice. I mean, come on, that looks like Stephen Trice. Come on. Nightscape, Zach also, uh, Alhan and Bambino Becky, neither of them liked. I mean, you can see why. Uh, Memeulous, although someone did say the Memeulous one was, in fact, a piece of art. And, you know, I'm starting to get recognized. Fan art master. Well, graphic design is his passion. Uh, I then put out two absolute bangers, uh, detail wise. I would say they're probably the most detailed ones I did. Uh, Bateson87 and Blue Van Man. And Blue Van Man liked it. I got a like on a tweet from Blue Van Man. How many people can say that? Winner. Uh, then a genuine art company. <laughs> Or art, what, what are they? They're like an art gallery? They they liked the Stephen Tries one. I guess game recognizes game. <laughs> this is, this is jokes. I can't believe this did so well. Oh, you thought they would don't know about a, like a good couple hours later, they come back and like another one. So somehow I managed to pop up in whatever they're searching for twice in the one day. So even the art world is just marveling at what is Fan Art Master. And then things took a turn, an almighty turn, for the better. None other than Anthony Fantano retweeted this incredible image of him. I would say, besides the poet one, this is one of my favorites, maybe my favorite, just because of how long I spent shading it. Um, but yeah, he retweeted it, and this is a uh, this is a live. Like I'm just gonna, I'll check it here right now. It's currently on um, yeah, one k likes, one thousand people liked a fucking circle, a circle. Fan art master, you have done yourself. But yeah, then I got a bunch of comments from his fans. Uh, soundtracks for the melon. I don't know, it looks canny to me. Is that the opposite of uncanny? Is he saying it doesn't look like him or is he saying it does? I, I don't, I don't know. Minimalistic but beautiful. That's kind of my approach to all my art. <laughs> I literally stared at this for 10 minutes thinking I was watching a review of the new Bad Bunny album. I mean, even I got a little bit lost in it when I was drawing it, but 10 minutes? Uh, we've then just come full circle. Uh, just like in the corporate came one, although this time someone decided to uh, spice up one of my own drawings, saying, still thought it could maybe use something more. Personally, I think they've absolutely ruined my masterpiece, but hey, some people like it, I guess. 
And then we got a bunch of other comments, but you know what, we'll move on. But like a thousand likes for a circle on Twitter. I've never had a single post on any social media ever get a thousand likes. I draw a circle, thousand likes. Man, quarantine's just messing with people's heads. Then I did a drop, a collection, if you will, of the Sidemen. Josh, Mini Minter, Vickster, KSI, Toby, Rotashaw, none of them replied. Except Bazinga. A man like Bazinga. He didn't reply, actually, but he liked it. And that counts. Uh, but someone did reply saying Masterpiece, which, you know, at this point, if anyone's looking for a graphic designer, I know a guy. That's all I'm saying. Oh man, this is such a piss take. But yeah, Ethan Eichenlott did bits as well because I had previously drawn a bunch of other people, not in the Sidemen, but kind of in that sphere. And that got us a couple followers. Uh, the followers count didn't really do um, as well as the likes, which obviously you can expect. But all I'm saying is in 24 hours, 42 people now think that Fan Art Master is an account worthy of following. Then came someone who straight up, I hope she's watching, because she's a fucking star. She helped this out so much, whether she uh, meant it or not. Uh, Elle's the witch, absolute trooper. Clearly got a lot of nice people that like her because, God, the comments and followers flooded in from her. Much appreciated. When I say flooded in, I mean like relative to how many we have. Obviously, it's not like thousands of people flooding in. So, Elle's the Witch. Uh, I love it. Really enjoy the attention to detail. The nose in particular must have taken you ages. It did. It took the most time. Uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. I like that like most of them are playing along. Like they realize. Well, I hope they realize this is a piss take and they don't think this actually is someone's fan out and they're like, Oh, it's great. It's it's so good. Well done, you. Someone saying spot on. Um, someone saying looks pretty accurate, to be honest. She called me a genius. I mean, you know, we had someone uh, that say the most fucked up thing is if someone asked me who this was, I would have said you. Life 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 Drawings from Fan Art Master. <laughs> Yes, then she went and liked a bunch of the tweets, which is what kind of got loads of people in. She liked the Miles one, she liked the Bazinga one, make it that what you will. <laughs> oh dear. And then we made it onto her Instagram story. She said, Mum, I've made it. No, Mum, I've made it. Well, Fan Art Master has made it. So yeah, Hell's the Witch if you're watching. Hero, you've really helped this video, whether you meant it or not. And, um, you know, with certain drawings, you know, like the Bambino Becky one and the Alhan one, or the, uh, the Baton one and the Blue Van Man one, some people were somewhat skeptical. Has he just done the same drawing twice? But no, no, I didn't. I changed some details. Uh, I can't say the same for my SX and Zach Lab ones. And... <laughs> SX retweet saying, perfect with one of his fans saying, do you have a gallery to put this in? No, not yet, but I don't know, a thousand likes and I'll start an art gallery and hang all these up and I'll sell them. No, I won't. Um, and Zach Joab said, I love it. Uh, with Dave Jackson, uh, you know, the guy that looks like Christian Erickson, he said, nailed it. And um, <laughs> we got caught. Then we kind of branched off into the uh, the Irish market. We did a uh, Darren Conway, who said really good. Slight hint of sarcasm there, but I'm not sure. But someone replied to it saying, which one is the drawing? Feeling like it could be sarcasm, but I'm not certain. JMX, because I can't go a video without mentioning him. Uh, he liked the one of him as well. Uh, cheers, Joel. That's like four videos in a row. I've mentioned JMX now. And then, um, as I said, when we were branching out into the Irish market, that fucking hurt. This is quite heavy, you know. Uh, Alfor and you know the Robert De Niro, Conor McGregor guy. Well, he liked it. 
sent me a bunch of laughing emojis and followed the page. Al Foran follows Fan Art Master on Twitter. What a world we live in. Honestly, what a world we live in. Um, and then Steve-O the Madman. Steve-O, obviously, from Filthy Fellas, because I did a bunch of the Filthy Fellas guys. Uh, he liked it. He said amazing. And he followed Fan Art Master on Twitter. I mean, come on. Come on. At this point, Fan Art Master is going to be doing better on Twitter than my own account. And speaking of the filthy fellas, Miles just uh, replied with the uh, Zach Galifianakis uh, nodding gif, to which I say thank you, Miles. <laughs> uh, the Annie Song Gib picture. <laughs> well, he liked it, didn't he? Of course, of course he liked it. God damn it. Sorry, I know he's not watching. But sorry, Gib, if you are watching. It was it was too it was too hard not to. Uh, shout out Ryan for the idea for that one. And yeah, Mad HD Gamer is who we're gonna end this on. He's uh he's getting married. Congratulations. So in celebration, I drew him one. And you know, I said if you want to get a tattoo, do you have my permission? There's no copyright. And although he didn't reply, someone just said outstanding. Thank you. So yeah, that concludes the video. That was was a journey, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so much better than I thought it would be. It was so fun to make, if I'm honest. So I don't know. If you want a sequel, I'll try and figure out a way of doing it. Maybe if anyone who is a part of this watches this, if they want to reach out, uh, we could do something like a collab version of this. I don't know, we can go undercover and see how many people. I don't know. But a sequel might be fun. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm running out of ideas. But sequels are fun, aren't they? Um, so yeah, my, uh, my Instagram's Harry Bailey 888 Twitter's Harold can tweet. I guess follow FanArtMaster1 on Twitter if you want. I don't know how active he's going to be anymore. You never know. He might, he might come back. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what this video does. Because like, there's a lot of names here. So even if like one of them watches and comments, that would mean the world. That would be jokes. I got a follow off scribs on my actual Twitter. Which was fucking dope, so cheers. Dope. You know why I'm saying dope now? Because I've watched way too much Cody Co. I've watched way too much Cody Co. in lockdown. I'm saying dope. I'm from Ireland and I said dope. And I didn't even... I didn't even think about it. God. Lockdown's in Ireland. <laughs>